Today's topic is responsibility. Now, before you go logging off, hear me out. Responsibility can be a lot of fun and it is certainly very empowering. So, uh, for example, there's, an oper there's always an opportunity inside of whatever comes forth in life. And I am a big believer in everything that we manifest is from within. What is inside manifests outside. So what, why did we manifest this? Like, and if you subscribe to that methodology or that philosophy, the next question is, well, then why did we manifest this? What had us in this current life's consciousness, in a past life desire, in our soul's journey, what had us manifest this, this scenario? Okay, so it's easy to say, well, this is happening to us and the government and whatever, right? Like it's really easy to be a victim. And who we get to choose at any given moment is either you're either a victim or you're being empowered. You really aren't both at the same time. And so what I'm preaching today is that the more often we select and choose empowerment over victimhood, the more happy we're going to be. And if happiness is your gig, then this is a methodology. And if happiness is not your gig, then this is not for you, right? Like if you prefer to feel like someone's doing something to you so that you could then be helpless about it, then that's a choice. I get it. You're getting something from that, but then this is not your environment. <laughs> like, this, is, this is not what we do here. So, um, and I have to be honest, I get so frustrated with some of like the people in my life or friends or myself when I choose that mode of being too. And it's a mode of being, it's, a, it's we're, we're choosing at any given moment. Don't get me wrong. I get the circumstances are challenging. I get the circumstances are challenging. More for some people than others, right? People who are standing online to get food, um, who aren't be able to feed their children. That is hard stuff. So our heart, my heart goes out to everyone who is suffering on so many levels. But this message is about taking the control back as opposed to being the victim that is uh, in suffering. Is this landing? Do you guys get this? We are always at a crossroads of when something comes up, a circumstance comes up, we either get to choose we created that or we get to say, F this, right? Like, what is this about? And this is, uh, uh, someone's doing something to me. This is uh, uncomfortable. And our, our react, almost like a child, child's reaction to like, no, the resistance factor. But when we are engaged in being responsible, we get to choose and think through why we selected it. So I'll give you an example. Yesterday I had a tough day. I was like in victim mode, basically the whole day. And, and um, what I got out of it was like feeling like a martyr, like I work so hard and whatever. Um, things are happening to me. And then at the end of my day, after I kind of went through this whole thing, I was like, you know what, why did I choose? Why am I choosing this? What am I getting out of it? And how can I change it? How can I shift it if and when I'm ready to shift it? So this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what, it's a new day. I'm not going to think the thoughts I thought yesterday. Granted, my circumstances are exactly the same as they were yesterday, but I'm going to choose today not to think the same thoughts as I did yesterday. Instead, how can I shift the perspective? How can I change the story? How can I be the observer to the situation that then gives me choice and empowerment to view it how, how I want to view it? view it that in, in a way that is empowering to me. An example would be, um, you know, okay, so let's say there's a scenario, my boss doesn't pay any attention to me. And one scenario is like, my boss doesn't, it just ignores me and I feel really left alone. Uh, and the other scenario is, my boss trusts me enough to do my job without overseeing me or micromanaging me. And I still have availability to him or her to get my questions asked, uh, answer to get support and and so forth right two totally different dynamics which one are we going to choose to live inside of 
comes back to us at any given moment. So the, um, th there's also like many layers to what goes on and sometimes we don't know it. Like I tried to give my mom a scenario like, mom, you, you, you know, you're choosing this. And she's like, no, I'm not, I don't like it. And I was like, I get you don't like it, but on some level you're choosing this so that you can learn something from it so you can grow from it, you can evolve from it. She's like, no, I don't like it. <laughs> so there's some people and there's some scenarios like you're just not gonna get agreement on and that's okay. But if this is landing for you, then it, look, my, my invitation to you today is to look in your life specifically right now with the situation going on in the world, where are you falling into victim and where are you falling into responsibility? What if this whole thing was created because the world needed a pause and each person on this planet needed a pause and maybe some souls just wanted to leave at this time. Maybe, right? What do we know? We make things up that says, you know, death is bad or this scenario is uncomfortable and, and, and it's, it's a, we're calling it a crisis. What if we, cre we co-created it consciously, maybe not in this moment, maybe in another lifetime, who knows? We created an opportunity to give the earth a time to replenish itself. We're seeing how quickly the pollution is dying down, how quickly uh, uh, bodies of water are clearing up, air is clearing up. The uh, geologists are able to hear what's under the earth for the first time, uh, deeper into the earth. Right? What if this is a time that we all get to pause in our homes with our loved ones? Hopefully you're in a home with a loved one. What if? We chose this time. What if we created this time? And if we did, how would you look at it differently? And if we did, how would you use your time differently? And if we did, what would you do inside of this pause that'll bring you something new on the other side? Create a new dynamic for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones. Maybe you lost your job because you're meant to find a better one. Maybe you lost your job so you can learn more and about what it's like to have less money so you can feel grateful for when it comes back. Maybe you lost your job so that you can create a business and have a life that you love, right? There's so many ways to look at things. I'm just asking you to look differently. Look from the other side of what maybe you're looking at right now because that can be empowering. Um, <clears throat> I was also talking to an old friend and um, I was like, hey, he's like, I, you know, said he felt really badly about not being able to work. And I was like, hey, what if this is a time where you could do some other things, be creative? And he was like, no, it's not going to work that way. So there's some people who will, uh, the excuse will always be more important, more empowering, <laughs> more um, a prominent, uh, higher priority than the desire. Right? So I get that these circumstances are not making it super easy to be empowered, but your desire to either take action or shift your mindset has to be greater than the excuses not to. The desire to make a shift, to make changes, whether it's internal or external, has to be greater than the desire for your excuses. Right? The power of your excuses, because it's easy easy to have excuses. It's easy to be a victim. It's not easy to choose otherwise. It's not as easy to shift your perspective. It's not as easy to take advantage. And when I say easy, I just mean from the human default mindset, which is typically negative. That's what I mean. Um, I'm not saying it has to be hard because we get to say that too, right? So this whole premise is based on the fact fact that we are incredibly powerful. We are incredibly powerful. And when we tap into our power, and how do you do that? Through everything we've been teaching, through meditation, through chanting, through reflection, through mindfulness, through taking responsibility. When you tap into your power, you get to say how things go. And if not able to change the circumstances right now, you get to say how your experience inside the circumstances will be. I feel strongly that this has been created by every one of us, that we co-conspired to manifest this moment in time where 
it's just an unprecedented opportunity to change. It's an unprecedented opportunity to change. And we get to say how it goes next. And by God, if we don't up level our consciousness, we wasted this. If you're chilling out to Netflix every day, hours and hours a day, I don't see how that's necessarily up leveling your consciousness unless you're tuning into some really good um, self development things in there that you're learning from. But we, we tend to want to uh, turn off, <laughs> dumb ourselves down during times that are uncomfortable. I'm, I'm asking you not to do that. I'm asking you not to do that. If you need to kind of reset your kind of uh, mind and chill out for an hour, okay, manage it, right? Not be binge watching for 10 hours. Manage it because now is the time we get to say how it goes next. Brazil.